non-pharmacological. You were talking about smoking, cessation of smoking. And in the past, I've heard a lot about exercise. And is this something that you can support on? So exercise is a very interesting topic. There's widespread expert opinion that exercise and physiotherapy is very beneficial in spot level arthritis. The difficulty is getting a trial that has that because funding for trials, as you know, is, is not necessarily the greatest. No, it's not. So to get a randomized controlled trial in a Canadian context is going to be extremely difficult. If you look abroad to Europe, there are some good trials of, of inpatient stays and exercise programs and so on that can extrapolate to Canada. But it would be very nice if someone would sort of the fund lead and fund an uh, exercise right. study in AS or sorry, I don't know because I do know that exercise is important in all the inflammatory Absolutely. but definitely this is it, this seems to be a major improvement. Absolutely. And in, in axial spinal arthritis in particular, I have a few patients who are really able to manage their symptoms with exercise uh, alone. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that in no. terms of a disease progression type thing, but it can be extremely effective if they're done correctly. We're, we're patient advocates. Is there something we can do to help along? So, because this is sort of, uh, hasn't gotten the, the greatest to help. No. How does a person move forward? What do we do? I, I think the key is is just making sure that these diagnoses are, are just known at a primary care level, for one thing, and then at a population level. So we're, we're talking about diseases that, though for us, they seem quite common, and when you look at their prevalence in the population, they are fairly common. The vast majority of the general public has no idea of what you're talking about. And I think that's partially because, unfortunately, there's this uh, misconception that arthritis is not going to be something that rapidly kills you, so it, it doesn't get the, the big dollars, it's not a sexy disease that gets lots of funding and publicity. You know, the truth of the matter is, is that arthritis is going to be something that doesn't necessarily kill you, it might, depending on the types of manifestations you have. But it's going to be something that affects every bit of your day for the rest of your life. And we're dealing with young people who are starting out with 20, 30 years of life ahead of them where this is never going away. So I think just bringing that to the awareness of the public and, of course, our policymakers, and hopefully um, some of our guidelines and initiatives will be able to make some systemic change in terms of early access to care and imaging if needed. If as a patient, um, I feel hope is really important. Absolutely. Just on an ending thing, can you tell us, or your, whoever's watching, um, if they have psoriatic arthritis or this, the, another kind of spinal apathy, what do you give them for hope? I think that though it's unfortunate that someone has those conditions, I think that this is probably the best time to be a patient. There are so many new therapies and uh, new modalities that are coming uh, down. Uh, and I think in the next few years, we're going to actually have an explosion of, of new options for us. And I think that this is the first time that spinal arthritis has really been taken seriously as a big disease. A lot of the a lot of the spotlight was on RA, rheumatoid arthritis, for a very long time. So I think that that's going to change, and it's a good time to be a spinal arthritis patient. Thank you.